I started coming here when they first opened when I was in sixth grade. And then about five years ago, I got a job here, working for Mike and Ellen Orenberg. And it's about three years ago, actually, they uh, decided they were ready to start working towards retirement and were talking about shutting the shop down. And uh, mentioned to me about maybe taking it on, buying it from me. Can't lose this staple place in town. It's one place that people have to come and congregate and hang out. And it's been like a second home to me and a bunch of other people, so you can't lose it. So I was like, well, my parents have been in business. I think I can give it a whirl. And so I took it over first day, or April 1st, which no one believed. Everybody thought we were playing some massive April Fool's joke when I told them I was, I was the new owner. But I ended up taking on the shop just to be able to keep a community alive. Um, like I said, there's not many places here in Marion that people can come and congregate and meet new people. I mean, we have so many different people, walks of life that come through here. And uh, it's really cool to see them all getting together, um, talking about coffee, music, um, art. We've got one guy that's trying to get an art group together. We've got people that do, uh, oh man, just the spectrum of different types of drawing. That's really cool different types of way of expressing themselves and it's great to see all everyone working together.